Hello, Damon Mercia Solutions. Today we're going to take a look at the Amazon command line interface and how we can use that. So if we jump into the Windows machine, what we can see on the Windows machine here, I've got Windows 10. And I've downloaded two uh, packages, one the Amazon CLI, directly from Amazon, and Minio.io. Now we're going to use Minio to actually emulate S3, and I'm actually going to share out the whole of the computer's hard drive. We've literally got the exe file, Minio, and I'm going to run Minio server, followed by the path that I want to actually share. If I launch a web browser, I can actually go to the computer name or IP address on port 9000. And in here, I can then enter in minio admin and the default password of minio admin. And you can see here, we've got full administration of minio and we can set up the various uh, permissions. So now we've got minio running, let's jump in and look at these AWS commands. Okay, so on the server, first command I can run is a S3 LS. And because we're not using Amazon, we need to specify the endpoint URL. So in this case, S3 server, which is my local machine here. And we can see it's listing out the buckets I've created, but also the default uh, folders on C drive, such as Windows and users. So normally you wouldn't share the whole of your hard disk out. Um, I can't see any benefit in that. And actually I can see lots of reasons why you shouldn't. So first task, we need to create a bucket. So we can make bucket by running the command AWS S3, make bucket, then with S3 and the name we want to uh, create. Let's run this. So in this case, make bucket, example bucket. If we then do a LS again on here, we can see we've now added the bucket, example, make bucket. Incidentally, if I do a dir on C drive, you can see it's also created the folder here, um, example bucket. So the next thing we can do, if we do an LS now, and we'll actually specify the example bucket. So we change the MB to LS. We can list this, we can see there's nothing in there. So the next thing we need to do is upload some data. Okay, so you can see I've got a folder here. If I do a quick there on here, we've got some pictures. So what I'll do is just upload the first one there. And we can do that by specifying the file name and the bucket we want to place that into. We run this. You can see that's now uploaded that to the bucket. And if we now do a LS on the bucket, so if we now list the bucket, we can see we've got one file in the bucket. Now, what if I want to upload all of those files at the same time? Logic would say that we could just use a wildcard. Well, let me show you. Logic would say this would work. And if we run it, you can see we actually get an error and nothing happens. So with the AWS command, we actually have to use the recursive flag. And in this case, we'll just say current directory to there and recursive to example bucket. And we can see there, we've now uploaded three files. Now with this, we can also use the include and exclude. So normally you would exclude everything and then you'd use an include flag to include what you want to with the wildcard matching. I'll just give you a quick example of this. Okay, so you can see here I've specified to exclude everything and then we've included the include star.jpg. And if we now run this, you can see we'll uh, upload uh, three files. Again, if I was to change this to say star, um, nine five i would expect this to match only one file on the upload which you can see it has matched and let's just do another list of the bucket here okay so you can see we've got the three files now this is just basic upload and creating buckets let's look at some other commands how about if we wanted to copy all of the objects in one bucket to a new bucket so let's do this Let's create a bucket. Okay, so let's create bucket two. Now let's copy everything from example bucket to bucket. Okay, so we're gonna run a copy command to copy everything from one bucket to the other. And what we can actually see is nothing has happened. Again, 
we can include the recursive. And this has actually copied everything this time. What about moving stuff between buckets? Let's create bucket free. Okay, here's bucket free. Okay, so this command here is gonna basically issue the S3 command and say move everything from bucket two to bucket three. We can see we've moved three files. Let's just verify that with a quick LS. You can see bucket two is empty. And if we change this to bucket three, we've got the three files. Okay, what about deleting files from a bucket? Again, in here, we can replace the LS with RM remove, and we can specify, say, DCS underscore 001 dot JPEG. And that's deleted one file. How about we've actually finished with the entire bucket? Rather than just deleting all of the objects and then deleting the bucket, we can actually just delete the entire bucket. And for this, we need the force command. Let me show you. Right, let's run this command here against bucket three. And what you can see, it's failed to remove it. But what we can actually do to force this to happen is we can put tac tac force on the end and run this again. And you can see by doing so, it then deletes all of the contents of the bucket and then the bucket itself. Okay, let's have a look at my favorite command. This is the sync command. So if I do an LS here on the first bucket we created, example bucket, you can see I've got three objects in there. As you can see, by doing a dir on the test picks folder, I've added four more files to the folder. Now, to get this folder in sync, I could say copy everything up, or I could manually work out the difference between the files and upload. Or we can use the favorite command that I like, which is sync. Let me show you. So we'll say to sync the current directory to example bucket. Let's run this. And we can see it's uploaded the four files. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this useful. Please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.